guys, it's Spazman13579 here with DCC for Dummies episode 1. In this episode we're going to be explaining what the first things you should get for your new layout should be. Examples are DCC decoders and starter systems. First of all, I'll explain what I have as a DCC system and the main decoders that I use. I have a MRC Prodigy Express just an entirely basic system except I've done a lot of modifications to it first of all if we go underneath here you might be able to see this but the power pack is right there and the uh, um, line is split off and that wire comes up to here it goes on the switch and then that means I can turn it on and off without having to unplug the system as you can see the status LED right there turns off when I turn the switch off, and it turns back on. It has a standard cable on it, going up to the um, controller here. Basic thing. Another mod I did to it is I drilled a hole in the bottom and put these extra wires coming out. What those are for are these little guys. These extra 8 pin plug ports because from MRC I think like $40 just for one of those so I hardwired that to actually inside there and I had to solder it in and then can still use that port and then I have like one over there and all over the rest of the layout but yeah that is my basic DCC system no boosters or anything and it works perfectly fine Alright, so the three main types of decoders I use are, first of all, specialty decoders. These are for things like F units or S4s. Example, this is a NCE decoder for an Atlas S4 if it's perfectly in there, and nothing else will because it's like specialty made for it. But yeah, I use those kind of things. Second, this is not actually one because I have them all installed, but I use the Atlas on DCC boards for like old blue box engines and things like that that don't need extra lighting functions or motor controls just basic DCC decoders I can get the Atlas board style ones for really really cheap and then for everything else I use TCS decoders they are amazing uh, they have the goof proof guarantee which is if anything wrong happens to the decoder if it blows up if the functions stop working, you send it in to TCS via postage and they send you one back, a brand new one, no questions asked. You can do it as many times as you want. It's an awesome service that I use all the time. If I blow something out, then send it in within probably a week and a half, 10 business days, I get one back. But yeah. So I use that for specialty things, for blue box engines and other Atlas engines I use the specialty stuff. And then for 9 pin harnesses or 8 pin harnesses or hard wiring installs, I use the TCS decoders, especially the T1.